Hey guys, welcome back. I am popping on today to do a layout to play along with Chrissy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And we are on day 11. And if you've been following along with the way I've been doing this series is I'm doing the first 15 days with leftovers from my Not Just For Boys Kit Club kit. And then day 16 through 30 with the Scrap Room kits. So day 11, we have an Allison Davis sketch. It is a double page sketch, but I will be working with just the one side. So let me show you the sketch, it's pretty awesome. So it looks like a one inch border, perhaps. Um, title bits down here, big block here. I only have one photo. They're showing all kinds of them and a really cool embellishment cluster here. Kind of a baby one right there. Now, if you do double page, which is super awesome because look at the, all the little itty bitty photos that they had in there. You have all of these other bits, but I'm working right here. So that is awesome. And I am up to August of 2021 because I'm doing my leftovers chronologically because it's kind of pushing me to do more. And I like that. Okay. So I have the August 2021 kit. It was called Spectrum. I guess it still would be. And I don't have a lot left. I have one full size sheet left by Vicki Booten Color Study. So I brought in a piece of white cardstock, which was actually from the previous kit that I killed off except for some white cardstock. Awesome. I've got this bow bunny piece that I'm thinking about using as that big block that goes across. Now I'm super digging on this piece too, so I might layer it up. I'm not sure, but I have this and this. I had a cardstock cut and guys, um, forgive me with my speech. I have Invisalign and I switch the tray things today and I can't talk. Every time I switch them, I just have a problem with the English. Anywho, let me move my lights over a little bit. So I went ahead last night and just used some liquid adhesive and glued it to this paper and then I'll cut it out. No biggies, just gonna give me some extra color. And this was my favorite paper in the kit. It is by Reminis, there you go. So I have that. Here is my title that I already pulled because I do have a bunch of these thickers left from Vicki Booten. I love when you get stuff like this in your kits because you can use it and use it. So I have the details will be my title. I need a little dot. And for my subtitle, we have this handy dandy pretty little studio Christmas cheer and it's called Lime Cherry and who does not like a nice little black alpha in a great color. So that will be my title, subtitle, etc. Now in our piece, it says title, long title. So that will help to do the long title bits. I also have all of these great arrows and little dots and all of that, which will help for me to build this out. So let me show you the photos because you did, I talked about how it says Odin. It'll be 2.3 Theo 2.1. You guys stop fighting. So I have Odin and Theo and that is their weight at the time of this photo. How cute. Okay, so I have that. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to trim this paper down to 11 by 11. And I really like this bit. So I think I will go kind of like this. So let's start with that. Let's do an 11 chunk one way. And then let's do an 11 chunk the other way. Voila, we have page. Now in the sketch, it shows it's sewn or whatever. I think I'm gonna just scuff. And then this piece would go all the way across. And my photo, in theory, would fit perfectly on it. So I will attach this down first. So let me work on that. I have to cut this out, all that kind of stuff. I'll be back in a minute. So I went ahead and popped the star cut file behind my photo. I put my title on. I still need to put some little dots on. I brought in three pieces of the holographic gold bits to flush it out a little bit. 
Now I don't have any more die cuts, ephemera, any of that kind of stuff. So what I think I'm going to do is go into my leftover goodies and see if I can find anything. You know, since I've pretty much exhausted this kit, I'll put, you know, finishing touches on and all that kind of stuff in a minute. But I'm going to see if I have anything else and I'll be right back. I did find that I had some of the sticker sheet left from Vicki Booten. So I popped a sticker here up on a little foam. I have one here, here, and then these cute little ones, which helps to bring that purpley tone right across. Let's see once again, if any of these, oh, I can do family. That would be cute. Their little kitty family. Hopefully it's straightish. Um, let's see. Bright would be cute. They're so funny. This little guy looks shocked all the time and this one is up to no good. Let's see, we can do good. Just bringing whatever words. I've always liked the little wordy bits. Camping, daisy, water, swimsuit, like those things just are not gonna fly for this so well. Okay, very, very cute, but won't work for what we need. And then what else? Baking together, family, great food, game time. Oh siblings but do I have enough no I don't have enough to do three not with a color palette but that's fine oh wait gather da, da, da. no nope, those don't work let's see I'm going through this little bin I have right here these are all kinds of fun extras that I have I love these they're super dimensional so now the gold's different. This bright white might work. Let's see. Just trying to get a look at the tones that I have. Aren't these so incredibly stinking cute? Ugh, I wish, I don't want to bring out the red that's behind them though. It's just so cute, so cute, so cute. Oh, look at this little bit of yellow trim. I think I'll pop some of that on. This is why it's fun to like grab my bin and just see where we can go with this stuff. So, such cute stuff. And, you know, a couple of these will work. It's, it's scuffy enough to go with this. It's almost like a greenish yellow, but I think it'll work. So I can bring a couple of them in. Guys, it's coming together. All right. Let me pop these things on, finishing touches. I'll show you my finished layout in just a minute. I went ahead and on the diagonal, hit it with just a little bit of a shimmers paint, a creamies and rednecking, as well as, oh, a creamies and witches blue. And both of these were from the Kit Club as well, because I'm trying to keep things within this, not just for boys Kit Club at this point. So. That is my finished layout, playing along with Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. I think it's fun and bright, and I somehow eked out one more layout with this kit that was so incredibly killed off. Okay, that's all for now, friends. Bye-bye.